morning my loves i hope you're all well i hope you guys are having a lovely week so far i have had a lovely morning i've had a very slow self-care kind of morning i read my book i had a bath i never have morning baths and it was just so nice i literally read my book in bed went downstairs made a coffee and then took my coffee and my book into the bath and i feel like this is going to become a new weekend treat because it was really lovely and i'm just feeling so relaxed i am just about to do my morning skincare and today's part of the video is very kindly sponsored by forio so first things first you guys already know the drill i am going to be using my luna 3 i use this every morning and every evening without fail to cleanse my face then i like to use just a little bit of a foaming cleanser i find foaming cleansers work best because the luna 3 will really really work the cleanser into your pores i use this every single morning and evening to cleanse my skin it also lightly exfoliates my skin as well which is vital for me as soon as the weather gets colder i tend to get little patches of dry skin this time of year and the luna 3 just really helps to exfoliate them if your skin is ever looking quite dull which it can tend to do this time of year the luna 3 will just make it look so alive and radiant there are actually two sides to the luna 3 so there's this side which is super soft and this is a side i use to cleanse and exfoliate and then the opposite side can be used to give your face firming massages and after i've cleansed my skin you guys already know i am going to be using my forio ufo 2 i love this device so much this is the only thing that i've ever found that truly makes your skin feel like you've had a spa facial like you know the post facial glow that you get when you've been to a spa and you've had a like facial this will give you that glow at home it's absolutely amazing it literally takes two minutes as well you can use it as many times as you want a day a week i like to use the ufo 2 two to three times a week I always use it on pamper days because I feel like it really just gives my skin like such a boost and I can really notice the difference. I also use it as well on days where I'm going to have no makeup days and I want my skin to just look really glowy and awake and fresh all day. So a few of my favourite farm to face masks that Foreo actually have are the Manuka Honey Mask and also the Coconut Oil Mask. I love how hydrating they are. Like I said, this time of year, my skin is dry. So I like to add as much hydration as I can. So today I'm gonna to be using the coconut oil mask and this is what they look like. Little miniature sheet masks. And all you do is pop it on top of your UFO2. And then I connect my Foreo UFO2 with my Foreo app. It's super easy with the app because you can select the type of face mask that you're using and you can also see the benefits and exactly what's going on in the treatment. As you can see, the red LED lights are on and these will gently warm up your skin. Feels amazing on a cold morning just to have something really warm and relaxing to pop on your skin. The red LED lights also will rejuvenate your skin and help to lift and firm your skin. And then, as you can hear, the T-Sonic pulsations have started, which again feels amazing. It feels like a little mini massage on your face. But the T-Sonic pulsations mean that the serum from the mask is being deeply massaged into the layers of your skin. And then one of my absolute favorite features of the UFO 2 is that you can use the UFO 2 with your existing skincare. So you can use your existing facial oils, serums, your favorite face mask moisturizers and all you need to do is pop it on the ufo2 instead of the little sheet mask and the ufo2 will actually help your existing products work better like you'll see the benefits so much more as the benefits from the ufo2 will actually help all of the ingredients in your existing skincare go deeper into the layers of your skin so that's the treatment finished and as you can see my skin is so glowy after using the ufo2 and the best thing is it will stay this glowy all day it really does give you that like 
glow that you would get after having a treatment at a spa. My skin as well, after using the UFO 2, always just feels so hydrated and awake. Like I feel like sometimes my skin when I wake up looks so dull that I can literally use the UFO 2 and it will just give my skin such a boost. It really helps my skin stay really clear as well. Like I often get breakouts around here, but I've literally been making a conscious effort to use the UFO 2 two to three times a week, every week. And I feel like it's really just helping my skin become so much better. So my loves, I will leave a direct link down below for the UFO 2 and also the Luna 3. They would make the most amazing Christmas present. Put on your wish list or to buy for a loved one. I feel like they really are investment pieces. I have had my Luna 3 and UFO 2 for years and I use them religiously. I could not imagine not using them now. So yeah, they really are investment things to have, especially if you are a lover of skincare or you're looking to improve your skin. So yeah, I will leave a link down below and thank you to Foro for sponsoring this part of today's video. Whoa! This is me every day throughout November and December and October and September. I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away this year. It is currently Sunday morning and I've got a cozy day at home planned today. I've got lots of bits and bobs I need to do around the house. I've got a big weekly food shopping order being delivered very soon. I'm going to do some yummy cooking. I've got a new slow cooker which I'm obsessed with so I'm just trying out all of the slow cooker recipes and also as well I'd like to decorate the house for Christmas. Guys it's the first weekend of November and I don't have my tray up. It's, it's sad times, it's sad times. I've had a bit of a tree disaster so if you guys saw my last vlog I was up in the loft which when I watched that footage back and had to edit it, there were a lot of things crawling around. So now I've got even more of a fear of the loft, so I won't be going up there again alone. Um, but as you guys know, I bought a new tree. I literally was so prepared this year. I bought it in like September. Um, didn't think about getting it out of the box. Like I didn't even cross my mind. Like literally did not cross my mind. And then I went to decorate on Thursday, got the tree down, got it out, I had my Christmas tunes playing, I had my hot chocolate. I opened a new tub of celebrations. Had you guys ready on the tripod to film the best video of the year, which is my annual decorate my Christmas tree. And I got it out of the box and it was an Instagram versus reality moment. Oh my God, it was like, it just, it was not what I thought it was. The pictures of it were like, big and bushy and oh my god like the most amazing tree it, I've actually still got the tree I put it up in the dining room because it it like was small enough to go in there because the space I'm having the tree in is so like big and open it needs like a showstopper so <laughs> I had to go online order a new tree pay £22.50 for next day delivery because I was like you guys need this video on Sunday. I said it was gonna go up on Sunday. I hate not keeping my word. So I ordered it next day delivery, came to Friday, it didn't come. Yesterday was Saturday, it didn't come. I had a notification from Yodel today saying it's coming between three and five. So fingers crossed, my tree is here today. Then I plan to decorate tomorrow and try and get my video up either tomorrow evening is going to be a bit of a push maybe tomorrow evening or maybe tuesday so when you guys are seeing this my christmas tree decorating video will already be live fingers crossed if my tree comes so if it is i'll pop it up here i'll pop it in the description box but yeah i just want to apologize that it's slightly delayed this year i do always try and aim to get up sort of like the first weekend of november i don't want to get up too too early like before november the first but then i don't want to I just, I just want my tree. But we don't stress about things we can't control. We let them go. It is what it is. What it's meant to be, will be. But yeah, I hope you guys are cozy. I hope you're all having a lovely start to November. Really looking forward to spending the day with you guys as always. Okay guys, are you ready to see a little, little sneak peek? I'm gonna show you the dining room tree. As you guys know, I wasn't planning on having one out here. Because we've got a really big table, I didn't want it to feel crammed. But 
they say everything happens for a reason and you guys know I'm a firm believer because the tree that was meant to go in the living room, the disaster tree, is actually completely perfect for the dining room. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm gonna show you it, just a little sneak peek. It's not decorated or anything yet, so it's still to be transformed, but I just want you guys to like see the vibe. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <gasps> What do you guys think? So I have tried it over in this corner, but I feel like it just, it just doesn't look right because you can't really see a lot of it when you come into the kitchen. I really love it here. I just think it's very subtle and at night, I'll show you it later when it gets dark, but the tree lights bounce off the doors and it just looks so cozy and magical. And also as well, when we're eating our Christmas dinner here, how nice is it gonna be to have a tree out here as well? Cause I should think we'd be spending most of our time um, in the dining room on Christmas day. So yeah, this is the tree. As you can see, I mean, it's just, it's a lot narrower than I thought it would be. I really thought it was gonna be like a big bushy tree. That's what I really have my heart set on this year. But that being said, it's perfect for this space here. So I've just popped a few um, of my baubles on here just to see what this color looked like out here. But this tree has been fabulous for me to like practice what I'm doing. So like all of the decorations that I've bought, I've already like popped them on this tree and kind of like made sure they go together. And I also got these little branches from Amazon and I like tried them on this tree. So it's been a great like, trial tree <laughs> um but i got these from hobbycraft they were literally one pound fifty each and they're so similar to the ones that i got from fenwick that were like five pounds each so yeah if you're looking for some velvet burgundy baubles definitely have a look in hobbycraft but the theme for the dining room tree i'm thinking of kind of keeping it the same as the theme that I'm going to do for the main living room tree because I kind of want that to run throughout the house. Um, but I'm thinking of keeping this tree very, very minimal, just very minimal, beautiful, and yeah, it's going to look so nice like eating our Christmas dinner with the tree there. And then with the burgundy baubles that I'm going to put on this tree, I've bought some burgundy napkins. So that kind of ties that in and I'm going to get some like little gold accessories for the table. Oh, I'm very excited. I feel like I'm going to save the table decor until like mid-December probably. Um, just because I feel like it's a little early to have all the table Christmassy yet. Um, not like we eat at the table anyway. We literally, <laughs> we always sit at the breakfast bar. I don't know why. We very rarely sit at the table. So it's going to be a nice treat to sit there for Christmas. So this just happened <laughs> why time for a weekly grocery shopping haul just gonna run through everything that I got so first things first puff pastry because best believe we are gonna be making homemade sausage rolls today so excited I feel like they just make me feel very very festive so for my sausage rolls I'll talk you through how I actually do it in um, a moment but I got two lots of puff pastry. I can just keep these in the fridge and then just make the sausage rolls whenever. I got some sausages. I like to use sausages instead of sausage meat. I'll explain why in a moment. Then I got some tuna. I thought this would be really nice for like a really quick lunch. I could just make like a tuna salad, pop this in the pan, do like a nice tomato salad and stuff. Then I got some stewing beef because I'm gonna be making casserole for dinner tonight. Then I got some beef mince as well because like i said i'm trying out all of the slow cooker recipes so i want to make a bolognese in the slow cooker then what else did i get i got some yorkshire puddings to go with our casserole this evening then i got lots of veg i've been obsessed with having roasted veg recently so i got some rainbow carrots some parsnips onions beetroot if you haven't tried roasted beetroot please do it's delicious some potatoes then i also got some lunchy bits here so i got some hummus some mini cheeses these are great to have on kind of like picky lunch platters so i like to have some hummus some cut up carrot little mini cheese some celery sticks also got some light baby bells as well because i love these 
Then I got some tomatoes. Mini peppers are so nice with hummus. Also got some mini cucumbers too. M&S didn't have the layered Mexican dip. And if you guys ever see it, please try it. It's so nice with nachos. Like, oh, I'm, I'm imagining like dipping it through the layers. But I got this one for now for when we have a fajita night. We usually have fajitas like once a week. So I got this to keep in the fridge. Then I got some fruit, pomegranates, blueberries, straws lemon limes got some avocados um some more peppers and then also for lunches i got these mini pitas which i like to just pop in the toaster and then dip in hummus and also some hummus chips got some bread if you haven't tried this pizza oh my goodness it's so delicious i like to just get one of these pizzas each week just for like a lazy dinner and we'll have like half of this pizza each i'll either do some homemade wedges or just have like a salad with it um but this one and there's a chicken arabiata one i think it's called um and that's delicious as well like any of these wood fried pizzas from m&s are so yummy then a few bits for the cupboard I got some Special K, I got these Special K bars, Jamie loves to have these throughout the day. Then I just got some like chicken and beef stock, um, some cranberry sauce for the sausage rolls. Then some sour cream for fajitas, um, some Worcestershire sauce, bay leaves, tomato puree, some tuna, pistachios. This is for tonight's casserole and also some baking paper. Then I just stocked up on a few cleaning bits. I don't need much, but I just needed like the essentials. Some more washing bits. I picked up this and this is a laundry egg that you pop in the tumble dryer and it's like scented, reusable. You can use it up to 70 washes. And then when you've used it and it doesn't really smell anymore, you can actually buy refills. So I thought that was really cool, eco egg. So I'm gonna do some washing soon so I can use this. Then I got some more minky cloths, some foaming bleach in pine. This always makes me feel like it's Christmas because of the pine scents. <laughs> Said no one ever, bleach makes them think of Christmas. And then I also got some unstoppables as well because this just makes your washing smell amazing. I literally bought it about a week ago from Amazon. I think it's about 35 pounds. Oh my goodness. If you are a bit like me, sometimes I really fancy like a really yummy dinner, but it gets to the evening and I kind of can't be bothered to cook, especially when it gets like really cold and dark super early. Um, it's just, oh my God, it's so nice. Like I just think slow cookers are fab if you're either out all day and you're not going to have time to make dinner when you get home or you're going to work early and you're not going to be home till late i just think it's so fab you can literally prep all of your vegetables and your meat the night before then just pop it in the slow cooker keep it in there all day and then in the evening you can come home to like a delicious warming winter dinner i just think they are fab so today i'm going to be making a beef casserole i like to use onion carrots peas and obviously beef i do sometimes pop potato in there but i think today i might i'm not 100 sure i might pop some roast potatoes in the oven so we can have the beef casserole some crispy roast potatoes and some yorkshires but i always buy these beef casserole sachets um i have made one from scratch before but i just feel like these are nicer um they just my eyes watery from the onion <laughs> I can feel them watering. So I feel a little crying, it's just the onion. I'm usually quite good with onions. I don't usually ever get runny eyes, but clearly this is a strong onion. I think these are fab, really easy as well. Um, so I just like to cut up the onion, fry the beef and onion together in the pan for like four minutes, just until it's like browned and the onion is golden. And then literally chuck it all in here. Mix this with some water. It has all the instructions on the back as well, so you don't need to follow a recipe. I just find them really easy. Then it'll stay in the slow cooker until about seven. So I usually leave it in here on a medium heat for about, I feel like eight hours is a good time because you can do it in about three hours if you have high heat. 
but I feel like the flavors go together and the meat is like super tender if you leave it. So like the longer, the better. So I usually leave it in for about eight and when it's done, oh my God, it's just delicious. make they are delicious oh my god me and my mum make these every single year and i feel like whenever they're just in the oven and the smell of them is in the house it just makes me feel really like nostalgic and christmasy so i use puff pastry you can use short crust but i feel like i like the i like the puffiness of puff pastry so these just roll ones are fab because they already come rolled out they're just like so much easier so I usually use a whole one of these and it usually makes four big sausage rolls and what I'll do is then cut them up into like little bite sized sausage rolls and then keep them in a tin. So first things first, I'm just going to divide the pastry up into four, just really rough. It doesn't matter if some are bigger than others, like that. And then you can use sausage meat. But me and mum always use actual sausages. I feel like they already have the flavour in there, so they're just so much nicer. And they're less messy to use as well, but you can totally use like sausage meat and then kind of like add your own flavours. So before I add the sausage meat, I'm gonna add cranberry. Cranberry sausage rolls are so delicious. You can add anything, you can just do the sausage, you can make some caramelized onion by literally just popping some onion in a pan, letting it go like really caramelized, that's gorgeous. You can also make Stilton sausage rolls, pop a little bit of Stilton cheese on there before you put your sausage meat in, they're delicious. Or you can make sausage rolls with no sausage and you can make like brie and cranberry, brie and bacon. It really is just such an easy thing to make. So I like to get some cranberry and I just get about a teaspoon and I pop this on the pastry first because if you pop it on top of the sausage um it can like sometimes the cranberry sauce all comes out and you kind of want it to stay in there so I'm just gonna spread this I think that's my Christmas tree <gasps> guys it was only my Christmas tree wasn't it hallway oh my god i'm so relieved and happy <gasps> once the, when these are in the oven we'll put it up because i'm really really hopeful that it looks better in the space oh my god how exciting and then with the sausage it's super simple just take one of them and just like pierce the skin at the top and then you want to squeeze the sausage meat out into your hand. This isn't the nicest part, I won't lie. I should have pulled my sleeves up before I started handling the sausage. Then, once they all look like this, all you want to do is just fold over the pastry. And then I'm just going to pop a fork over the bit that I've just folded just to kind of like really press it in and stop it opening and it also makes it look kind of pretty as well. And then last but not least, I've just got some egg here which I've whisked up and I'm just gonna brush it across the pastry. It just gives it a lovely shiny golden brown finish. Before they go in the oven i'm just gonna pop some salt on top so they have like a really salty crust 
And that's it. And then you can actually just transfer this onto a baking dish, which I love. So there's no like faff of having to line anything. And then I just pop these in the oven for about half an hour on 180. They might take longer, they might take less, but just keep an eye on them after about 20 minutes. And when they look golden brown, it's good to cut one open as well, just to see if the sausage is cooked. Hello old friend. Guys, I'm so excited this tree is here. I thought Christmas was cancelled for a second. I mean, it wouldn't have been cancelled because I would have just had to order another one. But the tree that I wanted is here. I'm so happy. Before I put the tree up, because I've got to do all of the lights, um, which takes me hours. It takes me so long to like make sure the lights look nice. The one in the dining room was a pre-lit tree. Oh my god, it was so easy. I wish that... Like, this one was pre-lit, but it's not. It's fine. I can... Oh, my God. I just seen Tilly, and she looks so cute. Sorry, but is that not the cutest sight you ever did see? Oh, my God. She is so cute. So, yeah, before I put the tree up, I think I'm going to decorate the house first. I'm not going crazy this year on decorating the house, purely because... I loved my autumn decor, like don't get me wrong, it was so cosy, it made it feel really homely, but I realised when I took it all down and the house has been like a little bit bare for the past like week or so, I have felt a lot more, like I feel like it's felt tidier and cleaner and I just, I feel like the autumn decor was a little bit too cluttery you guys know how i feel about clutter i just honestly if my space feels cluttered i actually can't think so this year we're gonna have the big old tree in here which is gonna be like the main the main attraction right we're gonna have the big tree in here then i'm gonna decorate the fireplace but i want to keep it very simple um so i've got some garlands and some stockings to hang up and i think that's all i'm gonna do and then I have a few signs and stuff, which I'm not sure where I'm going to put yet. Then the next thing I want to do in the kitchen is in the coffee station. I want to change that to like a hot chocolate station. So I've got a few bits for that. And yeah, just scatter a few bits of Christmas around. But yeah, here's a little overview of everything I'm going to decorate with this year. As you guys can see, the theme is very like farmhouse. We've got lots of green, neutral, wooden um, and then, of course, I'm going to have my tree here, which is going to be the pops of colour. I've got my gorgeous wreath over there. So I'm just going to run through where everything is from really quickly. So I spoke about these before. These are Duck's Nest interiors. These are from Etsy. Um, these Christmas trees, are they called bottle brush? Bottle brush trees. These are from Hobbycraft. So they're really affordable. Like I said, if you're looking for velvet baubles or these kind of like decorations, Hobbycraft had loads. Then I got a selection of mugs. These are so cute. I got these from a shop I found on Instagram through my friend Tiff actually called Little Love of Mine. They have so much gorgeous Christmas stuff. I'll leave a link in the description for as much as I can. Then White Company Winter of course. I got this really cute little Christmas tree also from Little Love. The hot chocolate stand is from Little Love. Oh my god look how cute this is. Cozy Christmas, also from Little Love. Got some gold picks, which from Hobbycraft, which I'm planning on putting. These are my garlands, so I might like pop them in there to add a little bit of gold. And I picked up this mug yesterday from Asda. It's like the ones last year, but mini version, and it was two pounds. So if you have an Asda near you, they always have loads of cute Christmassy like kitchen bits. Then I got a few more mugs. I got these adorable little spoons which I thought would be perfect for the hot chocolate station and I got this one that says warm and cozy a merry and bright one and also this one a great big hug in a mug I thought that was cute um this is also a little love of mine I have been searching for one of these to pop like mugs and stuff on you could either have it on the coffee table in the kitchen you can create like a really cute Christmassy I mean, that doesn't fit there. But you can create kind of like a really cute Christmassy display. And then, last but definitely not least, I got this cushion cover from H&M Home. Sausage rolls are fresh out the oven. You guys have to make me a promise. If you make these sausage rolls 
you have to have one when they are fresh out the oven oh my god there's nothing like it some of them did come open a little bit so i think next time what i might do instead of folding them i might get another sheet of pastry and lay it over the top because a few of them did open but oh my goodness that is christmas Pastry on my lip. Very hot. Maybe leave it for five minutes or so. My tongue is scalded and my cloves are covered in sausage roll crumbs. That is the sign of a good sausage roll. Guys, these are the nicest. Oh, I just love them so much. They're so nice. It's the cranberry for me. The cranberry absolutely makes it. Sorry if I've got pastry stuck to my lips. So many sensations in my mouth. It's crunchy. It's soft. It's sweet. It's salty. It's buttery. It's flaky. I'm going to have to have another bit. Guys, if you make these, please let me know what you think and let me know if you make any different kind of ones because i'd love some inspo of some other flavors that i can make i think on christmas eve because we're going to be having christmas dinner a little bit later for when obviously everyone comes over i think i'm gonna do like i feel like i've got pastry on my lips <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna do like some sausage rolls just for people to pick out in the day and i'm gonna do a few different flavors then i'm definitely gonna do the stilton Stilton sausage rolls, they're delicious. I'll do some brie and cranberry because they're so nice. Brie and bacon. Um, I'll do the, obviously the cranberry. These are like, these are the standard, the cranberry sausage rolls. They are just the holy grail. But I'm going to do loads of different ones and like cut them up and put them on different plates with labels. I think that'll be cute. <laughs> up this morning I looked outside my window with children lighting up the Christmas tree and the snow is falling it reminds me of the good times those winters we would spend just you and me it's been such a long time but tomorrow's Christmas day and I I'm coming home to you. I cannot believe how early it gets dark now. It's like half four and it's already getting so dark. So this is what the fireplace is looking like. I feel like now it's getting dark. It isn't really doing it justice because I feel like the camera picks up on like really bright lights. It looks so different in life than how it does on camera like right now. Um, but I think I'm happy with it. I'm going to have to have another look at it in the daylight. But all I've done is I got two of these. These are called eucalyptus garlands from Lights for Fun. And they have little acorns in. Like, they're super cute. I used two of these to make them a little bit thicker. And then I just popped the wire lights in them as well. Hung up some command hooks. And hung our stockings either side of the fire, which I think look cute. So I think that's all I'm going to do to the fireplace. Um, and then I think that's pretty much all I might do in here. I need to think of a nice coffee table design like something to do on my coffee table so if you guys have any ideas let me know i'm thinking of maybe getting like a wicker tray i'm gonna save the rest of the decorating for next week i'm gonna put the tree up and stuff now because i'm gonna be decorating that tomorrow and i want to get that all ready and make sure that it fits this space nicely but i just can't believe how early it's got dark um today has absolutely flown by absolutely flown and it's kind of hard decorating in the dark because it's just super hard to see how everything looks. So I think I'll save the rest of it um, for my next vlog. To be honest, all I've really got left to do is the kitchen shelves, um, the hot chocolate station and the hallway. So I'll save that. But I'm really happy with the fireplace. I think it looks cute, minimal, farmhouse. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys would add to it. 
I think it looks cute, especially when the tree is here. Another reason I think I'm gonna wait to decorate properly is because the house is a little bit of a tip right now. Um, all of this needs to go in the loft. We just need to box it up and label it all. So I know that it's my autumn decor for next year. Um, and you guys know when I decorate, I like it to be tidy and like quite a clean slate. So I feel like we'll do this probably tomorrow. And then a little bit later on, I can decorate properly. But I just wanted to show you the tree in the dining room. Now it's got a little bit darker. I love how it reflects in the glass. I think that looks so gorgeous, especially when it's really dark. It just looks so cozy. Lots of you guys have been recommending Love Hard on Netflix. So this is gonna be the film that I watch whilst I pop the tree up. Absolutely huge. My friend Andrew was trying to convince me to get the eight foot. I'm so glad I got the seven foot because it's almost touching the ceiling. But this is exactly what I imagined. I always think Christmas trees look a little bit scary <laughs> before they have any lights on. Like they're just so dark. Um, but very excited to see this decorated. I've got a little surprise for you guys. Something we did yesterday. Oh, and Jamie's home. That was that was right on time. That was right on cue. Look at our porch, our Christmas porch. Do you know what? What? It's beginning to look a lot like, like, like Christmas, <laughs> isn't it? Just yeah. <gasps> looks right. magical. I've been waiting all day because Jamie had the extension with him, so he's brought it home, and it's the first time seeing the lights I'm on. I'm annoyed that I forgot to cut the cable ties off. <laughs> are you? Oh, those lights are more, I've got a mind of their own. <laughs> they keep just changing mode. The reindeers are amazing. I've always dreamt of having these. Jamie, don't sit on it. Oh, I just think they are so cute. Feeling very content this evening with my Christmas tree. I can't wait to see it all decorated tomorrow. Um, my plan for now is I'm gonna pop upstairs, have a shower, get ready for bed, and then we're gonna have our dinner. The casserole looks pretty much done now. So I think, I didn't get a chance to do roast potatoes, so I think I'm just gonna do some quick mashed potato and pop some Yorkshires in the oven. But that's gonna go ahead and end today's vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed spending a cozy Sunday at home with me. Um, very excited for the videos to come. Next weekend, so the weekend coming, I have a double upload. So an upload on Saturday and Sunday because it's the beginning of my Christmas gift guides. Collected loads of really good stuff this year. So there'll be a gift guide for her, gift guide for him, and then I'll do my usual B&M um, stocking filler gift guide as well. Let me know if you would like any other gift guides. But yeah, thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you're all having a lovely week and I'll catch up with you all at the weekend. Night night.